Hello, Freedom Community! This is Aaron. Some of you guys know me as Stuck Dizzle, and I have beside me my Steam colleague, partner in crime, Larry. AKA Cousin. AKA Cousin. You guys call him Cousin, you can call him Larry. This is his first time coming on board onto the Freedom Central. I was doing a video together here, and guys, as you see right in front of you, this game is called Rush Wars by Lee Coil Games. Did you guys enjoy the trailer? You can actually check out the trailer at youtube.com forward slash Lee Coil Games. It is absolutely awesome. You can check out other foot, uh, video footage over there at their channel. But guys, let's get right into the game here. What this game is, this actually is an MMO RTS. And why I'm promoting this game is because we're actually partnered up, we're teamed up with Lee Coil Games. We're going to help them promote this game. This is a brand new game. It's actually just going to go live tomorrow. And you guys will actually help promote this game. Us, the Freedom Community, you guys have a chance to help promote this game and you will get rewarded for it. We're going to give you guys an affiliate link and I'll show you guys how you can actually help uh, gamers, customers out there, proceed in this game by buying gold. Gold literally is like an oxygen tank. You literally cannot do much at all with this game without gold. It's kind of like Candy Crush a little bit. All you guys out there that are addicted to Candy Crush, you want that extra five moves, you gotta pay a dollar. So in this sense, if you want more gold, you gotta, you know, fork over to cash and get that gold so you can proceed in this game. I'll show you where gold's important later in the rest of the video. This is, like I said before, an MMORTS. There are tons and tons of people that are playing this game actually right now. The concept is it's a little bit of a sieve, kind of like an Age of Empires game, where you build a civilization, uh, you build a town here, and you have resources, like you see up top here. We got the silver, the crops, lumber, stone, iron, and the population that's within your city. And you have to control the economy, so then that way the guys that are coming in have a place to stay, which is why you're building cottages. And then you have to monitor the population. As you can see there, the population capacity, I'm at 29,000. Yes, guys, this is really deep into the game. Uh, level 10, we have a level 10 city hall here, level 10 coaching house. Level 10 is the max in which you can upgrade your buildings. But this is the best way to show you guys uh, all the ins and outs of this game by actually being further into it and then showing you guys how to get to this far. And we can request 500 workers for the masons. Uh, to produce some stone, so I'll hit train workers, and as you can see right here, we have speed up. And now it's telling you also into the left, how long is it going to take before you can actually uh, get 500 more masons to mine the stone? It's going to take 3 hours, 11 minutes, and 27 seconds. So as you guys can see right now, I don't feel like sitting here waiting for 3 hours, so how do I speed this up? You click on speed up. Now when you click speed up, it gives you another option here. You can actually finish the upgrade now. For 25 gold or you can deduct the time by ways of these perks the gold is right here for buy buy gold takes you to this website into which you sit here and you put in the options of whatever currency you're in how you're going to pay for the gold and how much uh, each of the chunks of gold actually cost one thing guys oh this is Larry by the way one thing I've noticed too is when I was playing this game um, up top here we see the positive number. If you don't have enough workers, you're going to go into negative, into the red. And what happens is you're not able to keep up with your guys at the bottom here, your troops and your heroes. Um, they're taking up a lot of the resources, especially for uh, crops. Uh, so it's very important to make sure you have enough guys over here like what Aaron has. He has 14,000. Obviously, it's not even enough to keep up with his troops down here that have tens of thousands at this point. Um, so that's another thing, too, you need to work on. After that, we have... Uh, the cottages or room stable the armory military academy barracks headquarters cathedral city hall coaching house coaching house determines <clears throat> what heroes you can actually obtain the higher the level of the coaching house the stronger and the higher the level the actual hero is going to be i am obviously going to be at or not going to be i obviously am at level 10 coaching house so i can actually get level 50 heroes as you can see right here the highest one we got here is a 43 but if you go down here and click on heroes tab i actually have a level 51 her name is ruth and she is a very powerful woman do not mess with her guys because i actually equipped her with more of the armory right here all right guys let's go over gold like i said before gold is very essential you need gold in order to progress and actually do really well in this game so how do you get gold besides buying it in the shop 
Well, there's actually three methods. One is to finish quests. Another one is through the lottery. Now you actually can get these lottery tickets. They're free from actually completing quests. I got one right here, so let's go ahead and do it. Put on it out, let's minimize this. Watch as the lottery goes. And can we get anything good? We get this farming specialist, which increases crops production by 25%. It lasts for 25, uh, 24 hours, which is, eh, it's okay, but it actually increases crops by 25%. That's very key. This now actually gets embedded back into your treasure chest under production. And there it is. Now I have three of these farming specialists, which is very key. Top left corner, I'm actually using one of the farming specialists right now. Another way, like I said before, is through the quest. And the third way is through going to your hero and actually putting them on a little bit of an expedition. So if you click around the bottom here, this is your treasure chest. This shows all the items that you've actually won and accumulated through quests and fighting other people in uh, different territories out on the map. Okay, moving down the line, we have quests. These are just obviously quests that go on throughout uh, the day, you have the daily ones, you have the daily barters, and you have your growth. As you obviously upgrade your buildings, build buildings, you actually can complete quests. And then within the quests, they give you back resources or even prestige value. Top left corner right here, you can see my name stuck. Does I'm now a squire with 170,000 prestige and zero. This is fighting. I have won some battles and lost some battles, so my net is zero. That's not good. Now, mail here on the bottom is pretty cool because you can actually talk to other people throughout the whole entire world. It also tells you your battle reports, miscellaneous report, outbox, and any new mail that you want to send out. One thing that's pretty cool about this game is you can actually create guilds. You click on the guild button. I created a guild right now called Freedom. So anybody that actually wants to play this game, help promote it, we can join forces, join the guild, the Freedom Guild, and destroy other territories. And we can actually help each other out. Uh, this membership shows everybody that's a member in here. I am the president. Cousin or Larry is the vice president. So as you guys come in here, I can appoint other people and we can join forces, destroy other competitions. All right, guys, let's leave the city going into the world. And this is what the world looks like. Guys, check this out. As you see the arrow pointing down, this is my castle, my fortress. This is what your city looks like when you're at level 10. I actually created another little city over here to the left, but these blue flags actually determine which ones are yours. The gray ones is everybody else. As I'm scrolling here, do you see how many other people are actually in this game right now? All right, guys, let's go into battle and see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take over this area here. And they just ask you to pick and choose which hero I'm going to use. I'm gonna use Ruth, she is the powerhouse. I'm gonna use a huge arm to go in and we hit launch. Confirm. All right, guys, it looks as if the battle is done. We go into mail, go to battle report, check out what has happened in the battle, and see if we've won. And we have won! That is another victory for the Freedom Guild. Let's see exactly what happened during this battle. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Are you guys excited to start promoting this game, Rush Wars by Lee Coil Games? And in return, get a commission from the affiliate link that you're going to give out to the, all the full gamers are going to watch you guys doing walkthroughs, tips and tricks, tutorials. And like I showed you before, you can actually join the Freedom Guild and we can join forces together in demolishing everybody in this world of Rush Wars. If you're not interested in this game, but actually interested in promoting future games, please put in the comments below that you are interested. This is going to happen constantly. There's a lot of developers coming to us saying, hey, we're, we want you guys to promote our video game, but we need to know if there's a fan base, if there's going to be uh, partners out there that will want to help promote video games like this one and many more different other genres into which you'll get uh, some incentive back from the revenue stream that you generate through your affiliate link. Once again, this is Aaron, head of marketing for Freedom. And this is Larry, part of the marketing team here at Freedom. Make sure you believe in yourself and great things will happen to you. See ya! Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids...